The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Representative Adam Schiff, has come into the spotlight as one of the leading figures in the Trump impeachment inquiry. Schiff is currently serving in his 10th congressional term, and my next guest plans to run against him in 2020 as he goes for number 11. Jennifer Barbosa is an independent candidate for California's 28th district. Thank you for joining us, Jennifer. All right, make your case. Why are you running against Adam Schiff? I live in Adam Schiff's district. It's the 28th Congressional District of California. He became my congressman through the redistricting process back in 2012. And what I've noticed here in the district is that since he's been our representative, um, he's essentially been phoning it in as a representative. He has not presented any legislation that has become law. Uh, homelessness, as you probably heard, is way up. Crime is up. And he's... Um, obviously engaging in this impeachment inquiry, which is doomed to fail. We know that. The Senate has said, you know, it's basically dead on arrival. So he's really wasting the taxpayers' time and neglecting his responsibilities here in California. All right. So what are you going to do differently? What are your priorities that will actually help the people of California's 28th district? Well, as a congressman, um, Mr. Schiff uh, is in charge of getting federal funding for our district to deal with big issues that we have here, such as the homeless crisis, which is growing and growing under his representation. Um, we get millions of dollars every year, tens of millions of dollars from the federal government, and we know that that money is not being spent properly. It's uh, going to, quote unquote, affordable housing, as if uh, building more condos is going to um, get rid of the homeless problem. It's not. So what our federal representatives should do, and what I will do in Congress, is have the inspector general can perform an audit to see why that money is being misspent and what we can do differently to make sure it gets to the people who need it most. That's one example. All right. The district that you're looking to run in has 48.6 percent registered Democrat voters. Why are you running as an independent then? Well, that's a great point. There are 420,000 registered voters here in our district. 220,000 are Democrats, only 70,000 are Republicans. So it's not really a Republican versus Democrat thing. If, if you make it about Republicans versus Democrats, obviously Democrats will win every single time. You could have every single Republican why, voter. Why not challenge vote. him as a Democrat then? Would that because not, not be more effective? I, I, I'm not a Democrat, and Democrats uh, are overwhelmingly support Mr. Schiff. We have, however, 130,000 independents. They're sort of like the forgotten voter here in mm -hmm. our district. The, the Republicans don't play to them, and the Democrats don't play to them. I, I represent those people, and it's sort of... It, it, Republicans are more like a third party here, whereas nationwide independents are a third party. In, in, our, in our district, Republicans are a third party, so an independent actually has a much better chance than a Republican. All right, Jennifer, some of your critics are saying that you're an actress, you're just using this political run to self-promote, that you're not really a serious candidate. What would you say to them? I have been an elected official in the city of Los Angeles. Five years ago, I was elected to the neighborhood council. Um, I then was immediately appointed to vice chair, uh, chair of our outreach committees. So um, acting is not something that I'm really pursuing actively. It's something that I've done here in Los Angeles to pay my bills. It's a, it's a, it's a great gig if you can get it, mm -hmm. but it's not something... Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't use politics as the last thing that I would use to get ahead in acting because especially challenging someone like Mr. Schiff here in Hollywood, that doesn't help your career uh, in acting. It actually hurts it. Yeah, that's a good point. Jennifer, good luck. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it.